Hello folks and welcome to Creative Caregiving. I'm your host Peggy Embert. This video is sponsored by Atlantic Center for the Arts and United Way. When was the last time you received a handwritten note from someone? Now I'm not talking about a hand signed card. I mean a proper piece of paper with someone's handwriting on it. Not very often is my guess. When I was young, my father had an aunt who lived in Boston. From time to time, his Aunt Flory would send me these beautiful cards. She would describe in detail what she was seeing outside her front window. And after reading one of her notes, I felt as though I too was looking out of that window, seeing everything she wrote about. Today I cherish those cards because they are in her handwriting. I receive hundreds of emails and text messages, all with the same message. Hello, Peggy. I hope this finds you well. And then, of course, blah, 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 blah. How many children aren't learning cursive writing in school? I noticed the other day my father's handwriting is not what it used to be. He also has low vision, which has made writing another struggle. In this episode, we will bring three generations together with a project that can be fun and practical. My grandson Nolan was telling me about a project he did in art class recently. His teacher had a lesson using shaving cream and food coloring to make marble print paper. Together we, di we decided how fun would that be to do with ABBA? After making the paper, we will cut it into small note cards. Bob just celebrated his 90th birthday. What a perfect opportunity to do this project. Nolan and Lane will assist him with writing short notes to family and friends. You will need the following supplies. Plain, copy paper or cardstock, shaving cream, nothing expensive, a cookie sheet, a large spoon to spread around your shaving cream, food coloring, writing pens, and some tools that you can make some marks with, even the back end of a paintbrush. And then of course with kids, paper towels of course and a card, which you're going to be able to wipe your shaving cream away to find your designs. So now, with all the supplies gathered, let's start creating. Hi, Alba and Lane. Hi. Hi, Nolan. Today, we're going to be trying a art technique called marbling. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. All right, so marbling. We're going to spray shaving cream all over this. Oh boy. Spray as much as you want. And then we're going to use our spoon. We're going to use this side and we're going to flatten it out. Okay, all right. To get a smooth surface. And after that, we choose any color. So we could go with blue. blue. Red. red with orange. green. Green or orange. And then we use this stick and we start moving it all over, trying to get the colors everywhere that they possibly can go. All so we're going right. to do up and down and side to side. All right, and I think that's good. All right, good. can we do that? And then It'll we're gonna press it on oh, this I piece see. of paper. Oh. Oh. 
We go like this and we yep. pull it up and there's going to be shaving cream on it. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah. So that, we're yeah. going to wipe it off with a card. I think it's back here. We'll put it back here to dry. For right now. And then, now you guys try. Get your shaving cream. All right. And shake it up and spray it on there. This one just comes out of loops. There we go. Put as much on there as you want. There we go. You're doing yeah, All right, I now think. get your spoon. See the flat side, this yep, side? that'll work good, now, yeah. This smooth it out. <laughs> Try to get it everywhere on the tray. I think I'm using the right side. Yeah, we're going Oh, fun. yeah, this is fun. Yeah. It's fun Nothing moving wrong it. with this. I'm Tell excited. you what, it looks like whipped cream. I wish it was. I know. I don't think shaving cream would taste good, but whipped cream sure would. Probably not. You're probably right. All right, and probably when you're done not. smoothing it out, you can use these colors. Now, don't squeeze them too much or a lot will come out. I don't know. And just put little dots on it around the page. Maybe give it a little squeeze. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Get as much color as you want. Give me the orange, please. I think you got every color. Yeah. Give me the red one. <laughs> Okay, now. I can make purple to out of work. blue and red. Now comes the talent. Hard. Yeah, talent. You've got to and just mix it up mm. side to side, up and down. Oh, wow. Boy, they mix, don't they? Yeah. Where's my toothpick? Well, you know, a person could make a rainbow. You, you could. Yeah, wouldn't that be something, a rainbow? Come on. Oh, that felt weird. You're doing amazing, guys. We gotta mix these two together. How you doing, lady? Good. Oh, Look at the mess I got. Yeah. This is art. And when you're done mixing it up, you can get one of these sheets of paper and press it down on there. Yeah, I see. Papa, what do you think? Blue, green, and red, and <laughs> All right. I got them all in here. Now, press this paper down on it, yep. like Make this. Purple. And get it nice and smeared on every part. I'm trying to make the pattern that and I want And when you're done, pull it up off. There we go. Can you hand me a paper? Give me it in this hand. Now just press it down gently. Okay, here it goes. Wow. And now we'll take this back here to dry. I still wish it was whipped cream. No, not anymore. Wouldn't it be good? We could eat what's left. <laughs> All right, Lane. Did it. You did it. Do you want to do another one, Abba? Oh, you can do more? Yeah, yeah. it might come out a little. Oh, I tell you what, I'll, You can do multiple. Maybe. And then <laughs> maybe it'll come out a little different if I, here to dry. if I work it off. Wait, I need to make a new color. Add as many colors as you want. Hand Ooh. me some more blue. Maybe put, I'm going to do some too. Put a little blue on there. Maybe a little green. Uh oh. Didn't break, right? Put a little green. One, two, three. And then. I'm gonna make purple. Let's hope. And then 
mix it up. That just looks like black. And when you're done, Ava, just can it to me and I'll take it back there. Yeah, I didn't make purple, okay. I made black. That's nice, that's amazing, Lane. I thought purple will work. No, I just made black. Oh, yeah, that's different than the other one. Try to put some more colors in wee, maybe. Wee, wee, wee. Or put a little sh more shaving cream on. Ooh, well, you know, more shaving cream. Wee, I will, that could I, lighten it. Okay, here's what I want to do. This is going to work. I want to make a rainbow. Yeah. Yep. And I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to make a rainbow. Oh, let's make some. Oh, so I might be able to do it. Do you have as much as you want? <laughs> so I was thinking of some. Lane, I need some of that red. Oop. And I need blue. Mine's just making a really dark, red. dark, dark. Yeah, we don't have any. There we go. Yeah, hey, Nolan, can you hand me the orange? Yeah. Wait, what colors make yellow? Yellow's a primary color, Lane. Dang it. But yellow Green. and red can make orange. Well, we don't have yellow right now. There we go. Hand me blue. And then we're going to make purple. If it doesn't make that bad green again. Maybe make some patterns with it. One. Hand me the red. Hand me the red. Please. There. There's my rainbow. Yeah. We'll add just some of the red in the places where the blue isn't, so you won't add too much. And then let's blend. Wait, first we gotta make sure that mixes as purple first. Don't make red. Don't make black. How are you doing, Lane? That's fine. Yeah, that just made. Or oh, just any old kind of. This is kind of like the thing in the carnival where you put the oil on the spinning wheel and then it, the you know the paint on the spinner. yeah yeah oh that Something At like first that I was like what is he talking about a little bit like that is it mm -hmm. yeah I need more white over here it's a it's come press the tail over here come over here. And since we don't have that much room left on the counter, let's just put them right here to dry. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that one looks cool. Mine just looks like dark green. I think I almost got a rainbow. Let's move this here. You probably did better than yeah. mine. You need to get it <laughs> off? Yeah. Oh, There's well. some paper towels over here. Yeah, this is messy, but... Messy, but... But if it was whipped cream, it wouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. That's good, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And so, when you're finished, just put it up, and then we're gonna start scraping them. <laughs> Mine's bending. It's too heavy. Alright, and I think that's it guys. How about that? Yeah, I think we did pretty good. Wasn't it fun? It was, oh yeah. Mixed it was great. That stuff and, yeah. Yeah. Wow, you guys have really been busy. Yeah. This is amazing. Now, what did you use on this? So we use shaving cream mm -hmm. and food dye. 
Oh, all right. So what's going to happen now? What are you so going to do? Now, since they dried, we are going to scrape them off. What are you using? We're just using a regular card, like oh. a birthday card. Oh, that looks like maybe one of my old birthday cards. Yeah. yeah. But maybe you can use cardboard oh. or construction paper, something sturdy. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. A little alternative. And so we'll just scrape this off. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it comes out really nicely marbled. Mm -hmm. So you just scrape it, all the shaving cream off, mm -hmm. and the marble design comes out. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Wow. What great colors you got out of all of it. Yeah. Would you like to try one? Sure. You want me to scrape? Sure. Okay. Well, this one looks pretty interesting, so I'll probably maybe go a little faster yeah. before it all completely dries. Yeah. Wow. Now, what exactly is going to happen with these? I mean, I had ideas, but what are your ideas? We're going to turn these into thank you cards for Ava's birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had that wonderful celebration for him. Wasn't that cool? Yes. Yeah. The whole family was here. So he's going to what? Tell you who he wants a card sent to? Yeah. It could be someone in our family uh -huh. or one of the family friends. Or what about the Tallahassee people? Yeah. Yeah, because we had all our relatives come from Tallahassee for that big birthday celebration for him. And that was so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, and sometimes, if a lot of shaving cream mm -hmm. gets on it, the paper might get wet. But oh, okay. That's fine. It yeah. doesn't hurt it. Look at that. And I can even wipe it a little bit with a paper towel. It just needs to dry off. Okay. And then after it dries, you've got... We are going to fold it. Okay. And yep. turn it into a thank you card. Oh, that's perfect. So it's going to be thank you so-and-so. Oh, okay. Now, I heard... Ava talking about a rainbow. Now, was this one's lanes, I yes, guess? Yes, this one was lanes. Oh, okay. So she was experimenting with mixing a lot of colors together, mm -hmm. I guess, huh? Yeah. Wow. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I think that's going right into the garbage can. Yeah. And it was smart of you to bring this garbage can in here, too. Yeah. It gets very messy. Yeah. Well, how did Abba feel about it being messy? What was his comment about playing with the shaving cream? He wanted it to be whipped cream so he could eat it. <laughs> of course. He does have a sweet tooth nowadays, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is a really cool project. Nolan, how did you learn to do this? I mean... I learned to do it by my elementary art teacher, Mr. Hardall. Oh, that's right. You did tell me that. Yeah. Well, wow, look at these. This is, this is just incredible. I mean, I don't even think you could, mm -hmm. you know, buy something that's this pretty and this yeah. creative, isn't it? Only homemade. Homemade, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you know what I've been real concerned about? Wow. I've been concerned that people are not writing letters enough. They're not sending cards with, you know, their handwriting on it. So I think this turned out to be a good project. Yeah. And you and Lane can help Abba do the writing because he's not able to do that as well as he used to. So maybe you all could help him uh, fill in the details on his cards. And uh, I think that was a fun, fun project. Yeah. I'm glad we did it. And you know what? I, call me crazy, but I think you could draw on this and frame it. Wouldn't this be just like kind of fun that yeah. you could make the marble print and then do other things with it? Glue things on top, mm -hmm. frame it up. You know, there's a dozen different projects you could do with Maybe this. Maybe even we could glue the CD fish from the last episode. There you go. He did love those CD fish yeah. last week, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, well, I guess the next thing we're going to do is have Abba and Lane come back to the to the table and let these dry. Maybe we'll have a little snack break and come back and finish up with uh, our handwritten notes. What the heck is that project?
Wow, guys, you did a super good job. Look, Lane. Yeah. Did they turn out great? Yeah. And I love the way you wrote thank you on the front yeah. of them. It was very easy, and we cut them to uh -huh. a good portion. Right. Was that easy, Lane, just folding them and cutting them with a the yeah. scissor? Wonderful. What do you think, Dad? I think it's great, and you know what? No one would ever dream that was done with uh, shaving cream. You're right. You're right. I mean, unbelievable. I know. It doesn't even look like shaving cream. It they looks they like come out dry. Painted well. it. Yes. Like all right here. Uh -huh. You wouldn't think it was done with shaving cream. And food but, coloring. And food coloring, because you wouldn't think the shaving cream would do all this stuff. Yeah, That's but you know good. what? It smells good. Oh, Wait, it smells. Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah, it smells really Wait, good. It's a scratch and sniff. Oh, it could be like a scratch and sniff. This must have been one of the ones you wiped with the paper towel and it added a nice. Yeah, thing. a nice little smear. Yeah. Well, Abba, we're going to help you with your cards today. And we know that you wanted to send some cards out to family members. And so, if you want to start with Nolan, who would you like Nolan to send a card okay. to? Okay. I need to first, I need to send a card to my daughter, Kathy in Tallahassee, and she sent me an air fry oven. Oh, oh wait, an birthday, air fryer. An air fry oven. Oven for his birthday. Oh. Oh, wow. So, Nolan, you can start working on that, you know, dear Kathy, and thank you. Who would you like Lane and I to send a card to? All right, I want to send a card to my sister, Diane. Oh, yeah. She's up and in Diane. New England, and she sent me Maine Lobster. Oh, wow. Okay, Lane, you tell me. What should we say? Dear? Dear Diane. All right. That's thank your, you. That's your grandmother's name, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you mm -hmm. for sending me that. All right. Yeah. What did he send? Lobster. Lobster. Yeah. It was mm -hmm. excellent. Ah, so excellent. Love your brother. Oh, I love that. Th that's the best way to put it. Love your brother. And what was his name be? Brother... Abba. No. She yeah. wouldn't call him Abba. What's his name? What's Abba's name? I only call him Abba. Well, what would, what do I, uh, what do I call him? Dad. And what is, anybody else might call him? You don't remember? Abba? How about Bob? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bob. Everybody right. knows me as Abba. Yes. Now how about if you say, you sign your name here too, so that they will know that you helped make these cards for him. You're learning, you're writing cursive writing. Oh my goodness, I love it. Did you, oh and you put a heart at the end. How did you learn cursive? We do it every morning in class in our workbook. In your school? Oh, you know, I've heard rumors that people say kids aren't learning uh, cursive writing anymore. So you can say that's not true, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell the viewers at home, we learn cursive writing. <laughs> Absolutely. How are you doing, Nolan? Right. Right. Oh, dear Kathy, thanks for coming to my birthday. I really love the air fryer. Love, Abba and Nolan. But now, would he be Abba to her? Well, when, at the party, mm -hmm. I heard everyone in that family calling him Abba. Oh, okay. Well, Kathy is well familiar with me being called Abba. She is? Oh, yeah. So if it doesn't say Dad... She's no. going to still know, right? Oh, she'll know. She'll yep. know. Yeah. I'm well, well known as Abba. Okay. Well, well that's just like with me. Even some family members now call me Grammy. Grammy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because of you two, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, let me ask you something. Who liked this project? Me. You did? It was very 
fun yeah. and it was easy to do. Mm -hmm. I think it will look good if we put like a little CD fish on it. Oh, those CD fish that we did last week. We're going to yeah. have to pull those out and take them off Abba's Christmas tree for sure, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Maybe ease, even some more colors. Yeah. True. Yeah, but you know something? Believe it or not. I had a hard time finding food coloring. Oh, yeah. None of the stores well, had it. Coloring and yeah. shaving cream are hard to find. I, I know. It's a shortage or something. Isn't yeah. that crazy? I had to order it on Amazon, Dad. Wow. Uh, isn't that bizarre? Oh, yeah. A lot of things are hard to get right now. I know. But you know what? Let's think about this. If you didn't have the food coloring, what could you substitute? Well, you could put markers and take the ink from them. Okay. And put those in a bowl. That's a good idea. And then you, you could take the shaving cream and just add drips of the mar mm -hmm. marker ink inside of the shaving cream. Okay. And make it like yeah. a food coloring. Yeah, exactly. You could maybe even <laughs> splatter some wa watercolors in it. Well, that's what I was thinking. Maybe watercolor. Or if all you could find were the gel, the gel oh. coloring, maybe dilute it a little bit with water. water yeah. But we yeah. wanted to do it the authentic way, right? Yeah. yeah, for the first time. But I love this project. And I think it was great. I know. I think you had a good time with that shaving cream, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. And you, all you wanted to do was eat it. I wanted whipped cream. <laughs> Uh, Let me, out of curiosity, do you think it could be done with whipped cream? I Maybe. know it could. It could be an edible card. Oh, okay. All Maybe right. you could put it on gingerbread. Oh, oh my oh, God. Hey. Cookies. We've already done cookies. Then when you get through, eat the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> I love oh, boy. it. Oh, boy. Now we've got a new... Uh, uh, project, project to do with uh, making the cookies again, right? Mm -hmm. All right. We'll have to remember that. Hey, that'll probably be fun to do yeah. at Easter. Yeah. Maybe yeah. at Easter? Oh, very yeah. good. Yeah. Well, this was great. And I just want to take the time to thank you all for tuning in with us and joining us with these series of videos that we've been making with bringing family members together and doing fun projects. Yeah. All different ages, yeah. right? I mean, you know, we've covered it all. And just, you know, think about what you can do with your loved ones. Put the kids to work. They love to help. And don't forget about your grandpa or your grandma. They want to be with the kids and have fun also. So thanks for joining us again and spending time with us in our family videos that we've been making. And we hope to see you soon. How about if everybody says, bye-bye? Bye-bye.